Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to be taking a quick look at Tangly Linux, which just released version 1.0. And this is a brand new distribution, and it is uh, based off of Debian. So let's take a quick look at the sources. They're basing it off of Debian testing, but they're providing their own repositories. So this is an um, effort to bring in um, more frequent updates. And let's see what they have over here. So they've got a GNOME version and a KDE version. Looks like they are even providing a uh, Docker instance. Well, let's take a look around the uh, desktop, shall we? So unlike most uh, Debian distributions, this one comes with Firefox pre-installed. Let's take a look at most of the applications here. What do we got? Uh, LibreOffice is included, a bunch of K KDE applications including a webcam, Whoops. internet tools, VLC media player, although I'm trying to remember if I added that later or not. No, I think that was added, uh, um, it was with the installation. So you can see it's fairly uh, fairly basic. They haven't thrown everything in. Um, it's all the basics that you will need for your uh, distribution or for your desktop environment. And it feels pretty solid. Uh, let's take a quick look around. Since I'm recording this video, let's take a quick look at system resources, shall we? And I don't have HTOP installed. Let's take a quick look and see what we can expect here. So even though I'm recording this video, I'm only using about a gig and a quarter of RAM. Hasn't even touched my swap space. Uh, it's a very fluid desktop environment. Now I did find a few glitches upon installation. The, um, the boot screen had some, some issues. I was having trouble logging in on my first boot. I, doubt that I installed, uh, wrote, typed in my password wrong several times, but that's entirely possible. Um, also, when I'm using Piano Bar, um, which I use frequently for Pandora playback, the um, pop-up windows that can pop up at any given moment when you go to try to close a window or whatever forced the volume up to 100%. Now, it's not included in the uh, distribution automatically. You have to go and download it from the repos. But um, I thought that was a bit strange, and it's probably, uh, I'm not certain if it's a KDE thing or if it's a thing for this distribution. But as you can see, it looks pretty nice. Let's take a look at what kind of artwork it comes with. So if I'm not mistaken, some of this artwork does is provided within... Um, KDE's desktop to begin with. Oh, cool. So that's my look at uh, Tangloo Linux, and I'm uh, hoping you guys enjoyed it. And if you like, you can go and check out their website over at uh, tangloo.org. Don't bother going to tangloo.com because that is a cyber squatted site. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you guys there. Take it easy. Bye.